and welcome to my first video tutorial about the hairstyle of Empress Sissy in her iconic star dress from the Winter Halter Pottery. The products I used to achieve this hairstyle were hairspray, wig conditioner, a white tooth comb, a wig brush, one hair tie, a ton of bobby pins and small elastics. The wig I'm using is Arwen from Arda Wigs. It's a long, curly, lace front wig and just perfect for the hairstyle and the color Spanish Brown. And I also bought a pair of long wefts in the same color. So I'm starting by spraying in the conditioner all over the wig. It just helps to make the brushing of the wig a lot easier. So I started the brushing at the end of my wig with my white tooth comb. Just make sure you take your time and you're gentle to your wig, not like me in this video. If you're too rough, you may end up with split ends that you can only cut off, all with a comb full of hair. So after brushing the wig, we are now going to make the ponytail out of the wefts. I just got this long pair of wefts just hair hanging down and I took them on the upper edge and folded them together and fixed it with the hair tie so we have a long brown thick ponytail like this. The ponytail is now attached to my foam head and I'm spraying in some hairspray I'm using got to be and I'm doing this because I want to reduce the flyaways because when I did the hairstyle the first time the braid was full of flyaways and it was so ugly that I chose to make the hairstyle again and here we are making a video about it. Now we're going to braid this, so I'm doing a regular three strand braid. I think the original hairstyle had a four strand braid, but I'm not too good at this and I think the whole ponytail will become too short. So I'm making a three strand braid, but feel free to do whatever you want to do. After braiding all the way down, I'm now going to tuck gently on the edges of the braid to make it look a little bit fuller. We are back on the wig now and we are going to make the front part. So we are trying to achieve this iconic 1850s, 1860s face framing hairstyle. To do this, you have to take your hair from your ears to the front and just roll it away from your face. The tricky part here is not to roll in the hair, but to make both sides look equal. So as you can see, I already made one side and I'm now trying to make the other side look as equal as possible, because we want to have a symmetrical face line. So it might take some redoing, some tucking. So just take your time with this part. As you can see, I needed some time too. So. Don't be frustrated if you need many tries and many hours, <laughs> No, not hours hopefully, but if you need some time to make both sides look perfect. But please make sure they are looking nearly like twins <laughs> because you want this perfect hairline. After we finally finish the front part, we are now going to make the back part or what I call the base of the whole hairstyle. So we are going to make a very, very, very low ponytail, even a bit lower than I'm making it here because when I finished the whole hairstyle it just ended up at the base of my neck and not between the shoulders where it should have ended. So if you're going to redo this just make sure you're making it really low. Also make sure that you're not going to pull too hard on the hair because we don't want to ruin our precious hair rolls we did before. And yes, just take your time and be gentle to your wig and when you're ready you can tuck a little bit again on the hair so it looks a little bit softer. I'm parting the lower part of the ponytail into two sections now. I'm going to braid them. I forgot to use hairspray to reduce the flyaways. You can do this if you want and I'm doing a regular three strand braid. Again, if you want to do anything else, feel free to do it. Just make sure that the braids are still long enough to go all the way up 
around the hair to the crown of your head because that's where they need to go. After finishing both braids, we are now going to pull them up right around the hair that's hanging down and fix the ends right behind the hair rolls. Again, this step may take some time and some adjustments, so make sure that the braids are on the side of the hairstyle and not hidden inside the rest of the hair. Make sure you pull both sides at equal high and you pull it high enough so the hair tie is hiding inside the rest of the hair, it's going to make a little bag but don't pull them too high so the hairstyle is not too baggy. Again, take your time, make it look perfect and don't worry about the bobby pins, use as many as you need because they are going to be hidden in the next step. Sadly my camera turned off and I don't have any footage of me putting on the crown on the hat but I just basically took this super long braid and put it around the hat. So yes, here you can see the one end with the wefts, the other end is just tucked in in the braid with a loop tool and that's it. This is the complete hairstyle, it wasn't that complicated was it? The only thing missing now are the stars, but they weren't finished when I took the video, they're finished now. But I think even without the stars, this hairstyle is just pretty and I just loved how it turned out. I love the softness, I love the braids, it's just perfect. And here we are, the finished look on me with a penguin sweater. Perfect. I'm sorry for the quality, it's the front camera of my mobile phone, but hey, no one cares. I'm pretty. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, this was my little tutorial. I hope you like it and I hope it helped you. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to write them in the comments or write me a PN. If you liked my video, just give me a thumbs up and write in the comments and subscribe to my channel and then we are going to see us next time when I'm going to make the next part of my sissy cosplay, the elliptical crinoline.